Hello, my name is Kelly Bluen. I am a certified Zen Tangle teacher. Welcome to 15 Minutes of Zen. In these videos, I show you how to make one tangle pattern. And then the idea is that you use this tangle pattern by itself or you combine it with other tangles using the Zen Tangle method of drawing. So all of these can be combined to make beautiful pieces of work. But today I'm just going to show you one and this one is called The Stella by Jana Rogers, and she is a certified Zentangle teacher as well. I'm using a Micron PN plastic nib pen. I have a graphite pencil from Zentangle to do some drawing and shading, and I have a paper blending tool called a tortillon. Any pen or pencil or blending tool will work. You do not need to have these specific supplies. Okay, we're gonna start in pencil today. And to make Stella, we're gonna start with a bit of a grid. And I want you to start by putting a dot in the center. And then our grid is going to be in a circle. And I just want to sort of pencil in that circle. So I want there to be space on each side. So we start with a dot, and then we're gonna put a dot at the top and at the bottom, and on each of the sides. And then we're gonna place one in the center. So I made that circle so we could kind of guide ourselves in where we wanted these dots to land. And again, leaving some space on the outer edge. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my pen. You can continue in pencil if you would like and put the pen over it at the end, it's up to you. But I'm gonna go ahead and start with my pen. Okay, so I'm gonna find the center and I'm gonna go up and to the left and I'm gonna choose these two dots here. And what I'm going to do is first I'm going to ink in those two dots. And then I'm going to jump over a dot and come down to the point. What I don't want to do is just connect the two dots. I want to go over it. So I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna go up and around. See how it gives that little curve. And I'm going to go up and around this one like that. So we're not just going dot to dot, we're going around it. Turn my tile a little bit and I'm gonna to go to the next set of two dots. So I'm gonna leave a space here and go to this set. I'm gonna ink those in. I'll start at the center and I'm gonna go up and over. And if it's easier for you to go over and then down, go ahead. We just want that little bit of a curve. So now I'm going on the inside. So we go on the inside here and the inside over here and around. Now I'm gonna skip this area and go to the next two dots. So ink those in. I start at the center and I'm going to go on the inside and around and the inside and around and I should have two dots left I'm going to skip this area go to the next section ink those in Start at the center, go on the inside and around, inside and around. And then I can go back and adjust these little black dots to all be about the same size. Okay. 
Okay. It's okay if some of yours are wider than others. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just for fun. Okay, now I started up here by going on the inside and around. Now I'm gonna to go to that next section, the one that I skipped. And what's happened now is I've, you know, these are the two that I made. This is the section that I skipped, but now we have this really cool big area here. So now I want to continue this kind of a star shape out. So I'm going to imagine this straight line from the center out to here somewhere. Maybe I'll put a little pencil dot. And now this time, and I can just put a dot there if I want. And now this time, I'm going to go around from underneath. So I'm going to go underneath and out, underneath and out. So I went under the dot and upwards and outwards, under and outwards. Skip the next section. Go to the next one. If you want, you can put a dot out there. Just as sort of a guide, you're trying to imagine this straight line that goes from the center. I go under and out, under and out. Skip a section and go to this wide one again. Under and out, under and out. This is a really fun one to make on this little tile, but it's also fun to do on the larger tile. And there's so many patterns you can fill them in with. All right, I've got one more section to do over here. Under and out under and out. Okay. Now we've got these sections left. We've already gone under, which means we're going to go over this time. So this line went under. We're going to go over, and the same thing, I'm going to envision this imaginary line that comes up through the center, maybe comes out to about there. And I'm gonna go over and up, over and up. Over and up, over and up. I'm going to keep doing that on each side. It's okay if yours looks a little bit off, if you've got some that are larger, some that are smaller. It's the idea of just repeating those lines and enjoying that process. And then you can make this 10 more times on your own until you're an expert at it or until you make the lines look the way that you want. Okay, so now from here, we're gonna do a basic fill. And if you go online and you look up Stella by Jana Rogers, she has some beautiful variations. And the Zentangle app, um, which I can't remember the name of it right now. Um, oh, Mosaic. The Mosaic app will also have variations of Stella. Here's what we're going to do. We're gonna take this one here, that kind of bumped way out, and I'm going to draw a line down the center. I'm going to go to the next big bump out one and I'm going to add a line. Skip
skip this one and add a line and a line. So now in this one, we're going to put in these little curved lines that aura this curved line here. So I'm going to go up a little bit and I'm going to come down to the point. Go up a little more and come down towards the point. So you should be jumping up a little bit and then down, up and down. I do the other side so I go up just a little bit jump up and down to that point up and down and I go to the next large one and I do the same thing I'm going to aura that line so I've got that little hook go up and down, up and down. And on this side, Those lines don't have to match up. You can have more on one side than the other. It doesn't matter. And then just take a minute or two to finish this part up. Loosen the grip on your pen. Enjoy that feeling of the repeated line that your brain knows what to do. That up and down. Okay, so now one version of this is that you do the same thing on these, just, just going the opposite way, and that makes a beautiful pattern. So I've done that several times in my work. I just repeat those lines. However, I want to show you a little variation today. So something fun to do is to take another part of the tangle and just make up your own design. Do whatever you want. So I'm just going to put one in here. So on these right here, I'm going to mimic that line, but I'm going to stop and come back down. And I'm going to go ahead and do it on all four. So I go up and then I come back down. All of these tangles are meant to be a starting point and they're meant to be played with and experimented with. So it's okay to stray and make them your own. Okay, now I'm gonna do that same line, but I'm gonna put dots up and down, up and down. And then to finish it off, I'm going to put a line with a circle, a line, and if I've got room, I can add a couple of small flicks in there. So now Stella is done. If you would like to add more things to it, you know, you could take one of these pointed ends, 
and just add some little curls. You don't have to, but there's ways to enhance these things. You could also put in some fescue, which is just a curved line with these little closed up shapes on top. And these can just go any way you want. Just a fun way to add a little bit more to a mono tangle. Another thing that you could do is you could outline these to sort of add a little border. I'm not gonna do that right now because we're out of time, but that's something that you could do. Okay, I'm going to initial my work and then I'm gonna do a little bit of shading if you want to stick around. Okay, so for my shading, I'm going to take these large areas here and I'm gonna put just a little bit in the center and then a tiny bit on these edges. And what that's going to do is make these really look like they're dipping down in the center. So I'm gonna put a little bit on that center line and just the slightest bit on these outside edges. Push that in a tiny bit. And spread that center one. The important thing is leaving some of that white area to catch the light. So going in the center and a little bit on these edges. I'm gonna go ahead and do the last one here. Soften that center both ways and a little bit on the edge. Okay, now I'm going to go on to these inside ones and I'm going to put graphite along that V shape. And my idea is that these look like they are tucking under this one. So when I soften those out a little bit, look at how that looks like a shadow. Push that out towards the center. It adds so much depth. I love it. These videos are supposed to be 15 minutes and sometimes I go over, I apologize. There you go, one section left. Putting it right in that V area. Pushing it out to look like a shadow. And that's all I'm going to add to that one today. So that is Stella by Jana Rogers. I hope that you enjoyed it and we'll see you next week. Thank you so much.